welcome, 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 everybody. Uh, welcome to Beer Talk One Sixty Five. Yeah, uh, Denmark is nursing a semi. Uh, they, they Happy nearly... Fourth of July! Subscribe and all and like and let's move on. <laughs> yeah, uh, happy getting rid of England Day. I mean, oh, isn't I... that what the Danes are supposed to do next? Yes. Or you Will can, they? Like, Canadians just ask for it. The, the the problem is that Boris Johnson doesn't want us into his country at the moment without going into quarantine and stuff. So one of the biggest uh, influences in in Denmark, he wrote like a public uh, writing where he he tagged both the UK government and Boris Johnson and said. Now you need to change the rules so we can come over and watch our guys fight you, or we're gonna do like in the old days. We're gonna go in the boats and you you, and we're gonna go in the boats like in the old days or something like that. In and the then he says fight. it's up to you. <laughs> and then he's funny. just like uh, he he posted a picture of some uh, Danish Vikings. Hmm. Yeah, well, I'm not following that's... any of the soccer crap, so. Cocktail. Uh, that's all right. Uh, 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 by the way, uh, super chats are open. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't yet already. Links to all our social stuff is down below. Uh, I put Willie on the left top, so Willie's in charge now, technically. I'm driving the bus <laughs> right off the cliff, y'all. So watch it. And uh, uh, apparently, it's already uh, causing issues with autism that we're switched. <laughs> Oh, to some people? Yes. Well, y'all bitched about burning, so now we're going to have a different burning uh, schematic. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, if you're from America, happy 4th of July, happy uh, sausage day uh, and all that. Hot dog, technically, I guess. God, I finally figured out the default view of my YouTube, because I'm like, I can't see the chat for the love of God. So now, Hello. Oh, that's what you get when you're old. <laughs> Boomer technology. I'm not the I'm not the oldest though. At least watching. Uh, apparently, they've managed before you. <laughs> <laughs> they had whole twenty minutes prior. So there we go. <laughs> Uh, now. Yeah, we'll, we'll also have a prestige uh, beer sound stage cover giveaway. Uh, we'll do that. Uh, in about an hour or so. Uh, Which is going to be an hour and a half because we always get carried away. <laughs> it's never on time. <laughs> we'll probably get angry at something at some point. And, uh... Don, don't. <laughs> so should we talk about Bellucci the, tonight? <laughs> I'm done talking about it. Yes, I'm, this, I'm this time it'll take it. 20 bucks to make me really angry. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 don't encourage shit. I'm done talking about it. I just uh... shall we touch on another hot topic? Actually, then uh, beer sound emerge because it seems to be very two sided. Like uh, the non B and L people seem to hate it for some reason. Oh, I'm a B and O guy, and I hate it too. As in I'm hate, hate, board. or is it your general Danish hate of like? No, 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 no. I think it's stupid. I dislike it so much that when I was in Vancouver, it didn't even cross my mind to look at him. I just hate it. I think it's hmm. way too expensive. It doesn't sound good. I'd rather buy two M3s. I would buy an M3 over that. Yeah, me too. But there is there's something cool about the Emerge, and that is that uh, from the latest update from the Bang & Olds app, you can stereo pair them now. Which is pretty cool, which what? you should be able to do with the level and balance as well now. Um, this thing is awesome. The level yeah. is absolutely. I, I honestly, since I, I bought it, I haven't really listened to the '90s. I just carry this fucking thing around everywhere. Yep, I agree. I I did the same thing, but the just merge to give it a fair chance. Just... It it sounds absolutely fantastic. But I mean, the emerge. I I would rather go to Sonus and buy the Play 1, or, and this is crazy, go to Ikea and buy their speakers. No, this, that, that is how bad I believe this speaker is. I think it's just a design thing. It's not even, a, like, I wouldn't consider this as a speaker. I, I consider this as a, just a design feature by B&O, and the black one looks like a fucking router. Yep. And I just don't like it. Nope. 
So let's get on. Okay, other hot rather, topic, explore. Do we hate that or do we I, like it? Or because, I mean, I'm sort of, I guess, in the middle on the, the, the emerge. I ordered one. I just couldn't bring one with me because I'm going to buy one. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Don. <laughs> <laughs> Dearly. <laughs> thanks, Don, but no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> what do we least you talk about? Well, we'll see. We'll let you. We'll let you guess. But uh, no, I would rather honestly. I would rather get freaking uh, a whole bunch of tongue depressors and and stick them around the 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 M3 as a wooden grill before I would buy an Emerge. Okay, but an Explorer. Did you play with that in the store when you were there, or did I they did? Have one I yet? did. I did. They did have it. Obviously, they sold uh, the dark the the anthracite one before I got there, so touche, honky. So I'm going to have to get myself... Uh, well, I ordered it, so... And I was so smitten by the fucking lap 28s that I forgot to buy the portals. Fuck. <laughs> when I got home, I'm like... I loaded up Far Cry, and I'm like, son of a bitch, I forgot the headphones. But then you yeah. just need to turn your car around and go buy it, Willie. Really. Yeah, it's another fucking 1,100 kilometers just there, right? <laughs> And at this point, I'm out of cigars. <laughs> it took like, I, man, I yeah, I smoked a lot of cigars on the way there and back, and they're there all the way. But so, uh, anyhow, so did they not even that. have like a a, a showroom they had a demo. model? No, they had a demo model. They were just sold out of everything that was available. They had a green one actually that was available. I'm not, fucking, ugh. So I, I didn't actually kind of like the green one. Because you're weird, but I don't like the green. <laughs> it's just. I don't like the green. I think it's it's very very different. I I I I don't know if I like the can design. I like that it looks like an old microphone. That's pretty cool. It reminds me of uh, of B&O coasters stacked on top of one another neatly. So, I like it. I like the I like the ruggedness of it and it's and it, I like the size. Uh, and back to your what review you about it with the A1, like if you compare it to, because a lot of people are comparing to A1. Personally, I think this is a replacement for a P2, which was a smaller product. And uh, and that was basically, because that was meant for like the camping and stuff if, if in the yesteryears of, of, uh, of two years ago, I guess, if we talk about the P2, mm -hmm. where this is a newer take on it. Acoustically, it's much more and superior to the P2 because it was at the same price point of 200 bucks as the p2 was and uh this is fucking like you can hurt people with this thing this is a b of four that plays that's what to me it is yeah like i said in my review like if you throw an a1 against the wall you that's end up with a broken a1 <laughs> if you throw this <laughs> against the wall you have a dent in your wall dude i fixed my a uh, my a1 i don't know like it rattled the shit and whatever after it dropped yeah and essentially what it was when it dropped, because it dropped so hard that one of the wires that feed the speaker power mm -hmm. shifted under the spider, so that's what was rattling. So when I took it apart, I just moved the wire back, like I moved it further back now, because I don't know where it was, because that's not the first time that it fell off or dropped. It was the first time that it dropped that hard, and now it sounds works awesome. It's fucking crazy how little the PCB board in that thing is, though. I don't know if you ever had one apart, uh, Henrik, or not. Not that far. There was no need to. I don't drop my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Shit happens to the best of us, dude. I, 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 I've never listened to it. I've never touched it. I touched the box of it. But that box is going to do some goods in another place, so I can't open it. So I've never seen it. I heard it, it. It sounds good. Obviously, it's something. You know what I find? Like for me, the use case would that be? If you go out camping or you go out, you know, like we drive out sometimes and just go have a cigar in the fucking mountains, right? And this is a perfect companion for it because it's smaller. And at this point, quite honestly, the, the how rugged and tough it is. You could throw it in your fucking fridge, man, and just carry it together with everything and then just unpack it so it's cold, whatever. 
I think it's pretty cool that it can play for 24 hours. And 27 even. Yeah, yeah, but 24 say, hours. That is and probably... like what, 50% volume, let's say, like the moderate listening? Yes. Yeah, so that's, that's all you need, really. Like. Yeah, you're not going to sit in the, in the fucking Rocky Mountains like, 100%, man. That's right, put <laughs> okay for more bass, bro. <laughs> I mean, a 2,400 milliamps hour battery, that is pretty... That's pretty rocket as, as well. Mm -hmm. Have we all noticed, by the way, that B&O's uh, hour ratings for the battery are, is fucking accurate nowadays? Yes. I was noticing that on the on the level. I was on looking at it uh, when, yep. uh, when it's playing and, you know, through the app and how many minutes you got left. And it is, uh, they got it dead on. I do like it. it I don't like the auto-tuning on the fucking thing, though. There has been some changes from the old H9i's battery level mm -hmm. compared to the newer products, definitely. Yeah, and Tim has a good point that uh, the phone would run out of batteries way before that dies. But I guess at that point you can have your friends stream, whatever, right? Like one at a time, I guess. Yeah, but then again, everybody has their phone on all the time, so it just dies. Fucking you can sit there like a dickhead with your little solar panel. <laughs> 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 on a roll one or wear it on your backpack. Yeah, because you can sort of panel hang off your backpack. I like, yeah, like the, to the idea point of the, the, the Qi charger, because John was bringing it up, right, because it sits nicely. I think <clears> that if they did the Qi charger, <clears throat> there is no way that you can meet the rugged standard, because essentially, like, the bottom is whatever what always get beat, gets beaten on. I mean, I, I, I do like the product as per se, mm -hmm. but it's not for me. I'm never going to use it. I don't use portable speakers that much. Uh, as you guys know, uh, the the summer residence I have with my brother, we put up a shape instead yeah. of uh, using Bring it. Bring dinky shit. For me, my use case, what I see that as and why I ordered it, it's going to sit in the toolbox. Yeah. Because when I go, everywhere I go, there's no fucking music or there's no TV because there is that's the reason why I'm there, right? So yeah, instead yeah, of having yeah. the awkward silence, sense. you can have music playing. And even if I'm in the basement terminating cables and, you know, wiring up the rack and whatever else have you, like, I have something to listen to because I don't listen to my phone like other people. I want to, like, when I am on the job site and there's a dickhead with the fucking phone and, like, a Dixie cup or something, I just want to, like, literally go borrow his own hammer and smash the fucking phone. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just not that kind of guy that sits on the beach and throw the speakers over the fire and uh, just think about, let's listen to some small tunes. I'd rather just speak with people than having bad music. And yeah, again, I have a little bit of a product. different generation. Yeah, 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 definitely a different generation. Uh, I haven't listened to the product. It could be amazing, uh, but it's just not... I would never go to the beach and put up a speaker on the beach and play my music. I would never do that. Well, you did that with the level, front, didn't you? <laughs> put a bulk F in front of it and I, see I, how much I, you make. I did it. I did it with the level, but that, that was just to prove a point. I mean, when I go to the beach and I want to listen to music in Copenhagen, we have clubs on the beach. So I would go to lounge clubs instead to have a good glass of wine, a some champagne, whatever, and listen to some clubbing music then taking uh what is the name explore with me and uh start a fire with two sticks and uh think about if i should uh, put out my fishing line to get something to eat yeah but that's not for you i love the tent though <clears throat> it's not for me look at that high-tech tent. tent that dude has yeah <laughs> the tent i like more than that the tent has whole. fucking wi-fi in it it's solar panel in it it's got a whole bunch of other shit because it's actually like you blow it up it's it's tubeless i mean it uh, looks like it looks like those domes that nasa uses for tr testing uh, i could on, never on, find one on available Earth. online but they showed it also with the audi commercial they showed it in a couple different cars like camping and whatever you can do so that's interesting that bno had uh been able to get that any but idea yeah. what those go for i couldn't find the price hmm. i found the website and manufacturer and it's just coming soon and, and i i honestly this was a few years back now can you find that, a link for it that that tent exists i don't even know the name of the tent hmm. i used I to like remember tent. the tent is sweet 
But what the fuck are you gonna do with it when you don't go camping? Just oh, for I, Hamilton I, to play house? <laughs> I love going camping, but I would never just put out my own music system in in like where other people are. See, but we go camping when there is no other people. Yeah, yeah, but that's in Canada. We live in Denmark. There's people everywhere. Yes, I guess. Yeah, yeah. You can, you can. I guess you can make a choice. You can either listen to their shit, or you you bring your own, and there's a cacophony of things, and then just whoever has a better speaker wins. Exactly, and the explore. Or you bring the level. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna be tossing that in the fire, and the way we camp, yeah, it would be a nice picnic table and shit, and then we'll be playing on on top of it <laughs> with some good wine and whiskeys. But yeah, I uh, I do like it. <clears throat> My comments on them, on the level though, uh, which I think they should do is as soon as you pick it up because there's a gyro control or a gyro meter that knows that it's moving, right? Mm -hmm. As soon as it does that, it should disable the Bluetooth and the microphone button. Because those are the ones you always touch with your uh, palm of your hand when you're, when you're picking the fucking unit up. Mm -hmm. I found it very annoying because every time I pick it up, it either goes boop, boop, right and it starts to pair to nothing or i pick it up with my right hand and it uh mutes the music and, and the google comes on and she is loud as fuck i don't know henrik if you have that issue with her but like if i'm l listening to music at 50 percent, like music is relatively okay but she comes out like an angry housewife out of this thing dude like yeah, just but, like but you, you you can change that in the google home app where uh it's under you can put. You can actually put it into night mode. And the bitch be whispering. She will be like, "Okay, Google, how are you?" Sick. Okay, fucking Google, <laughs> how are you? This is getting sorted because I hate that that feature on it. And I know it's not BNO's thing per se, but I absolutely despise how loud she is. Because I'm sitting on the balcony, you know, and you just ask something, and 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 she just like the, for the whole apartment to know, right? Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Your delivery of blue chew is late. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh dear lord! Settings. Oh, there we go. Device feature. Uh, Harry too. Muskie is asking uh, a question. What do you guys recommend for nice sound and outdoor relaxing? So I asked, what's the budget? Something like the level. Well, I guess you're more and, or less there then. <laughs> And again, is it outdoor relaxing? Is it at your own place? Or do you want something that you can take on the go? Yeah, because if it's because more on the go, then it's totally beer different lit. Things. Yeah. I would get... Uh, I mean, then I again, a level, level does have Bluetooth in it already, so... I would get a level, man. It's a full-on... It's a full-on stereo that now you can utilize, not just outdoors and i I'd, I'd be hard pressed for you to kill it in a day as far as the battery is concerned uh, as far as backyard then level all the way i would say yeah do do the level man don't even piss about with the small products because then if, if 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 it's a backyard thing at your own place i would definitely go a totally different route than the other two guys well what you would install the speakers inside or i mean outside yes what i mean it's your one? it's your backyard it's you're gonna spend time there, and you spend time inside and outside. So I definitely would go another route. And if if you take an example, take the Celestial and Palatial from uh, Bang and Olsen, they do a joint venture with the Origin Acoustics, and those speakers sounds amazing. And the Celestial you can put outside, and if you dig into this the Origin Acoustics ensemble of products you can see that they are actually making outside speakers that can do 360 that you can tell that you can you should only play in the garden that is this big and only this way or this way and everything is 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 customizable and it works with bang and olsen all the bang and olsen dealers can actually sell these products and it is killer and i mean if you if you say that it's a backyard and you go out there, you can join it in your bio link with a core or an essence mark two. 
Mm, yeah. Uh, and it could be outside all year. Do you typically around. live in a typical Dutch place? Because in that case, uh, y- your neighbors are not going to love you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but but the thing is that you can. In in Denmark, we have houses, house, 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 yeah. and you can you can take the speakers and you can uh, equalize them and put them into a perimeter. So they will only play in the place where you are, where you're at. Of course, there's going to be some bouncing of the house walls, but I mean, it's it's a better solution than taking out a level or Biosound one or whatever. I could go with the level. You have a hands-on control. How do you control the volume on this thing, then, dude? <clears throat> well, with a beer remote one or an essence remote or right. a hate. if the. Like, and budget savvy or not, I, I'm personally against the outdoor speakers. I just don't care for them. For me, I find that if I just put something on the table for the few hours that I'm there and then bring it back inside the house and utilize it for a longer period of time than fucking two hours is a better investment than having speakers that literally get more rust time on them than me listening to them. Yeah, but, but, but the thing is, Willie, the thing is that you have speakers all over your house at the moment. You have the beam yeah. sound in, in, in your toilet and whatever, and, and 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 it's just on. And then your gateway is turning the volume down when you're not in the room. Yes. And you can put it in, in the summertime to be a part of the system. And when you just walk from inside to outside, it's just there. It's, it's no, I agree a with very, you, very definitely. good solution. I, I agree with you on that, but I just, for me, I find that I would have more utility of something portable or semi-portable to go in and out and in between than uh, uh, than having a committed system. Because you're talking, okay, let's talk Canadian dollars. This is $2,000 plus tax. Uh, if you're talking what you want to do, that's at least 15 to 20 no. Gs just to get it no, done. No, 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 no. no. Why not? Like, you need to get Landscaper in there to bury all the fucking cables. You then you need do, to get the. You, you should do that yourself, of course, but it's the the 360 speakers is almost the same price as the level. It's a bit more, but almost. Yeah, but that's without an amp, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but but I mean, <laughs> you can you can start out with just a small amp. I mean, the whole audio amps are like. Yeah, but if you go on BNO, you're not going to buy a fucking Sonos Connect. So you're going to go with a core that's not the 1350 bucks here, and, and you go with the BO Amp 1 or BO Amp 2, I guess it's called now, which is another, uh, what is it, 900 US, so would, that's another never, 1500 bucks. I would never bucks. go with a BO Amp, never. What would you go with then? Anything else. I think I'm with, uh, <coughs> with Willie on this one, as in, I would use a level most because before when I had a large garden, even when the neighbors were far away, like I had a bio lit and that was plenty really. I mean, I where when I lived in the U S we had speakers all over the farm so we could listen to music everywhere, but that was mm-hmm. in the middle of freaking nowhere. So that makes exactly. a lot of sense, but I mean, Outside in, in the garden in Copenhagen, in, in a normal uh, resident house, that this this does make sense. A lot of sense. Yeah, well, I guess to each their own, but to me, I would never expect, I would never expend that much money into something that uh, I use literally as much as a sports car here, which is uh, maybe six weeks out of the, well, I hey, sit on but, the balcony because I smoke, right? So I'm yeah, but outside Willie, that all is the, the time. difference. That is the difference. So why does people buy Bang & Olufsen? Why does people buy Beolab 90s? Why does people buy a Ferrari instead of just buying an Audi, whatever? Uh, that's no, just I'm not. I'm not disputing the quality or the choice of it. I just, for me, I just the cost of expense to get that sound is illogical in comparison to just having something portable. That I can use all the time. So you know with the saying? Beosound Five, the Beosound Moment, the Level, the Beolab Nine, the Beolab Five, and the Beosound A One on the on the cardboard. And the that is uh, that that is that is your choice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Well, I, this, I, I, all I, this is for sale, I, dude. I'm I know, like, I know. I'm just talking. <laughs> crazy. I mean, I, I, I but I still have, have it. I, I'm just disagreeing. I'm just disagreeing. And we don't have to agree on everything. No, that's uh, fair. I like, like the Pellucci I, stuff, too. Some of it. Uh, um, you know what? Like there is people like I have that I did put the, uh, the so outside out just, the speakers. You can just wire transfer me money instead. Of, you know. <laughs> well, we're not talking about this bullshit. Woodka said over have... on Twitch says it's funny that this opinion is coming from two people who live in apartments in cold weather countries. <laughs> <laughs> it's not cold here at the moment. Dude, we had 37 degrees last week, bitch. You have no and, idea what it is to die we... of heat. And we do have a summer residence where we have outdoor music as well. So, and I chose to live in the apartment. This is like for the first, this is for the last five years that I've lived in this apartment was the first time that I've lived in the apartment again since we moved out of Canada or moved out of Slovakia. So I have always lived in the house. I always had neighbors and you know, they have their parties. We have their par our parties, whatever music and all this shit. Uh, and usually what in Canada, what, how people would do this also by default, they just put left and right speaker above the fucking patio doors. That's just default, how it shoots out. And I don't know. To me, I just don't like it. I'm more of a person that I would like to have it portable and then it doesn't get fucked up by elements and it doesn't look like shit after two, three years with the dust and muck and crap on it and bird shit and whatever else have you. I just that's uh that's my two and a half cents. So yeah. But uh, I enjoy the apartment living actually. I don't have to mow the lawn. I don't have to fucking blow shit. Uh, I mean snow. Well, Other I have than a blower. Dudes. <laughs> Other than dudes. So I have the snow blower. I do my little balcony here so I can sit on it and I don't have to fucking shovel like my friends do. You know when it's when it snows sixteen inches and you got double fucking garage driveway plus the thing halfway through it some people die of heart one attacks. of those diesel generated <laughs> well if you have a bigger driveway then it's worth it but it's not really when you have a, like a regular default plus it's loud as fuck so um yeah yeah I, uh, like i i've been saying uh, level uh, is what i would do most probably people in this country would do that mostly because you can use it indoors you could also just buy an audi aston martin lamborghini or a ford and put it out in the yard and open its doors and play music that's you... pretty good or fabulous we've done that before not with the lamp i've position. done that before so i mean that works too then again, I guess this is, uh, yeah, that's an era of life. I was just looking if the crane was still there so I could hoist my car up. And... <laughs> <laughs> Listen to it. But yeah, I uh, I don't know. Like to each their own, I guess. For me, I, I like the I like the hands-on controllability of it, and I love the My Buttons, because at the end of the day, it boils down to I listen to four stations, really. And they're all, and they're all there. It's It's awesome. The only thing I really miss and dislike about it is the Deezer interface is not in the app. That you have to go out and cast and shit, like the, the yep. Chromecast part of it. It's freaking stupid. It. Uh, I hope the change is soon. Like, if they're talking about the the, the BioLink interface on the new Mozart platform, then I'm really curious how they're going to tie that Deezer interface into it. Because isn't that their mantra now that they don't want to be really affiliated with any streaming services per se? That you just choose to not then... affiliated with, not hard lockdown to. I think they, it's almost the inverse. The... They want to be affiliated with everybody. Yeah. So it's Which... up to you to choose what you want to do with it. Well, that's fair, and you should keep that. But you should also keep the fact that some people that you know had invested heavily into the systems that that have basically migrated from Spotify to Deezer because they used to have a BioSound 5 that now no longer even like you can't even log into the spo uh, Spotify from there you know it made me look like an ass because I had to convince them again right like dude just you know you, you just need to transfer your library from one to the other and it's not like a fucking Excel file that you can just convert it and oh it opens on the Mac no, you got to physically like research all of your music and put it back in favorites, links, playlists, blah 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 so they've done that and now 
now you're telling me I can't use this anymore, including the moment that is useless for, for that particular part of the... Uh, well, the, the wheel still works, it just doesn't work with your music. So I still kind of use that to uh, find new music completely, because it's some it's just com fucking wild cards that come out through it. But I think these are, should be part of the interface, because that's what like all this other shit works on. Like, how do you join? on the new Mozart platform, right? Mm -hmm. And what happens when you when you long press on the play button, it should, uh, in my opinion, it should power the unit down instead of having to use the hard button to stand by it. It doesn't do anything, it just bings once. And then yeah, it, 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 back it it's a different experience from all the other products. Oh, by a long shot. But you would never know that if you just came from uh, nothing. And nope. Your first B&O investment is, uh, is a level. Then I think those people will think that by default of upgrading that software, they, they, that they fucked up the interface as well. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a risk of that, right? Now, also, another question is: Then they probably go search online, see if any other other people see that, and then they see us, and they see us go, "God damn it! Why isn't it here?" <laughs> but then, okay, so so that, that's the deezer part that I would have questions about now. The Bagan Olufsen radio. Everybody that has core for for a moment or any other network link capable product has a more likely a subscription to tune in radio to listen to the radios without bullshit, right? So can you then just unsubscribe from that and uh B and O radio becomes a source within the network link uh, infrastructure so you can consume radio for free, just like you were able to with the Biosound 5? You can you can get radio for free on TuneIn as well. You don't need a subscription, but you need to you need to do make an account. But that's it. You don't okay. need to pay. I thought the only difference is that the reason why because I actually asked Bang and Olufsen about this because as I said to them, why try to make your own? I mean the the track record from when you try to do something is not that great so maybe you shouldn't make your own streaming service thing but the thing was that it actually works very good and you don't need to by accident by accident <laughs> and you, you actually don't need to make an account to get it to work so the new products you just get bang and all and radio where if you take the old products on the old platform you need to make a tune-in account just a normal account don't any subscription anything uh, and then you have the uh, the ability to put it in but you have to put it into favorites and whatnot to get it into the real tune in part of the B and O uh, app yes. uh, experience but that's changed with the bang and and radio but for really can't you just scream at Google and say turn on tune in station X yes yeah but it only plays either out of the dumb head in the by the stove or him over here in the back. Yeah, then you, mean, then you need to make a speaker group inside of Google Home with the two speakers in it and then call the speakers. No, I, I understand that, but then the problem that I have that I don't have that platform in my Avant. I don't have that platform no. in my moment, right? Like no. I'm fucked for these two rooms. Yep. So therefore my natural the moment, native infrastructure the moment is cool. You can actually do a Bluetooth connection to a Google Home Mini. And then that will Yeah, work. but that's shiitake mushrooms at that point. Yes. Like that's that's I'm not I'm that not interested. That is one of the biggest workarounds ever. Yeah, I'm not interested in that. No. I actually thought just for the shits and giggles because I have the one of four Biosound fives here, and I plugged it in just to see if it works. Works like a charm. And I thought about like why don't you just put music on it, throw it in the cabinet as a music server, and uh, Bob's your uncle. I kind of want to hook up the Lab 5 to it. Maybe I'll sell it with the Lab 5s as an included thing. Because then you can do SPDIF output like with your high resolution audio and go directly mm -hmm. into the 5s. Which was the last system that actually hooked up to best speakers that BNO made properly. Where Moment does not hook up the fucking 90s other than with Wysa and then it shows up as others. They don't have sound profiles. It's, for it. it's still a very, very, very sleek cutting board. Yeah. yeah. 
So there's the tent that we were talking about. Wow, I need that so much. <laughs> Why? You need a summer know. home, dog. So, I need. Uh, is is the link in the in in? Can can it's we in get the chat? The link? I threw it in. I threw it in our chat. So that's the that's the tent. Uh, it is pretty cool. I can't find it, Willie. Why is this for when uh, you kick Heidi out so she has somewhere to stay, or what? No, th That's this for is him. just this. Is, I, I, I have, I have, I have this. I don't know if you guys have that, but I have this one friend, and this friend is like when you show him something that is too good and too crazy, he's just like, "Let's get it." <laughs> I, I need it. I need it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why do you need that, it? Because I did fucking kind of go, bro. <laughs> I mean, I I went to him when we were 18 years old. We drove in my old Honda Civic from 1995, and we drove all the way to Italy to go clubbing because we 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 sat at home in in Copenhagen, and we were like, so what should we do tonight? And we figured out. We could go to Italy and go clubbing, so we didn't have any money. So we took all the the the, the old uh, flasks and the old things, cans and stuff, yeah. and got down and, and got money back from him. And then we emptied our accounts, and then we drove to Italy. So we went to Italy. Everything got was fine. We went into the camping site. We got thrown out of the camping site within 15, 20 minutes. So we need to figure out a new camping site. Oh, and we did this and everything was flying. We, we, we went clubbing for four or five days in a row. And then we needed to get, get back home. So when we got <laughs> back home, we forgot everything about that. You need to pay for driving on the roads. Uh, How many fucking back. soda cans did you guys return to afford all yep. this shit for five days? <laughs> it was pretty crazy. But we went oh, back and then right. then we went to, I think we, we were in Germany somewhere. And uh, the only money we had left was in the pockets of the doors. So we emptied the pockets of the doors and got all the money up there. And we were like... Okay, so this is what we have left, and we need gas, and we figured out we only had the amount of money to get gas, buy, uh, buy the, the roads, and the bridge back to Copenhagen. So, I told this, my friend, who's definitely going to buy this tent, uh, I told him that we only have this amount of money, so we can't do anything stupid. And do you guys remember the scene from Dumb and Dumber, where... Jim Carrey comes out of the gas station with the umbre uh, sombrero yeah. and uh, all these kind of things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the that, that was my friend. When we figured out we don't have any money left, he went into the gas station and he came out with Red Bull and uh, he, he bought like a game we could play and cards and all kinds of stuff. Red Bull, so, the, the fuel of teenagers. Yes, oh so, so we got, we got to, to Fyn, which is the small island in Denmark in the middle and you need to pay for the bridge and we went to the bridge area and we couldn't get anywhere because one the car was empty for fuel we didn't have money for the bridge so we needed to call another friend and he drove all the way from copenhagen to the bridge <laughs> to give us money for fuel and money for the bridge and then we got back home oh, good story that was my first trip to Kelowna with my best friend we had forty dollars left, which was exactly enough amount of money to get us home from Kelowna, which is a eight hour, seven hour drive. And it was forty bucks in gas, and uh, we were leaving the next morning. But instead, we spent thirty nine dollars on a case of fucking Corona. <laughs> 40, 40 case of Corona or, or uh, twenty four pack of Corona we bought. So we got drunk. And we took off with half a tank of gas and wherever the fuck it took us, it took us. And we ended up having his girlfriend wire us money, which was like so difficult 20 years ago to wire money into a random fucking location to get uh, to get enough money, gas money to make it home. But yeah, we were also tent camping. But yeah, this tent is awesome, man. I would like to get it, but I just don't have any reason and rhyme to, to really... I, I'm done camping, quite honestly. Plus, where we're at, it's just a big freaking blow-up toy for a bear to go through. 
I like it. Point. Oh, it's 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 great. I just like that there's no real hardware to it. It's all soft. Like you don't have any posts and poles to carry. It's all just inflatable. But then again, you have a pump, I guess, to fucking worry about too. It's so. just epic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm not into tents. <laughs> I'm not well, I used either, to be. This but, is, but, you I know mean, what? This wait, would have been cool 20 years ago. A friend of mine showed me that you can get like these roof rails for the 911 mm -hmm. and a tandem on top. Yeah. Oh, Christ. And I was just like, I just need to get this. This is this is the best thing ever. <laughs> like you're gonna fucking camp on top of your 911. Yep, I am. Right on. This Why? is the receipt. <laughs> <laughs> That's your power bill, don't be bullshitting. How are nope. the Lab 28s doing, by the way? Uh, very good. Um, it's it's been crazy. I mean, um, I have been on your YouTube channel more than I've been on my my own at the moment. <laughs> and that kind of sucks. Um. I've been way, way, way too busy. Oh, hang on. The guy that I told you about that we we went to, to Italy together, uh -huh. I just sent it him the link and no <laughs> description. He, and he said, that is way too cool. I'm going to order it now. So we have it on the next canoe tour. The, the next canoe tour we're going to go on. <laughs> so, Fuck. yep. I'm going to send oh. you some pictures of it. No, uh, to get back to my stressful uh, life at the moment, um... The Bill Lab 28, uh, hopefully uh, this week I'm going to do some uh, some video about uh, uh, um, doing some reference levels on them and uh, see how the built-in uh, acoustic treatment is going to work. Uh, I've been way too busy with... Um, with, the, with the Euro 2020. Uh, it's been crazy, crazy, crazy. And since Denmark can't seems to get their get out of Euro, they they it's just gonna get even more crazy at the moment. So um, I haven't had much time to to do my own YouTube things, and um, it sucks. <clears throat> I'm, I'm I'm gonna get, and then I'm 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 uh, I'm uh, doing a an event which is a physical live event for all my viewers and uh, fans and stuff and all i have invited the whole group to 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 participate if they want to it's called the botf vip summit um and it's it's it has taken a lot of time to to get this event up and running uh, i mean we had the covid 19 and uh, this is something that i wanted to do for a long time uh, now it is possible. The the people where I did my level video and do some product shootings and stuff called Unique Room, uh, also called uh, Instinct, is uh, uh, they they have like these beautiful beautiful area down by the beach where you have the overview of the whole Copenhagen beach. And is that where you shot uh, the level. Yeah, exactly. And um, they they have like paintings for like a million Danish kroners and uh, all their uh, furnitures is so nice and stuff and um, I've done the I'm gonna do the event with those guys on Saturday next week and um, Bang & Olsen is coming by to show off the new Contour 55 inch show nice. off all come again nice <laughs> yeah and show all the speakers that they have in line uh, and um, we have uh, Microsoft that is coming with uh, the Xbox Series X to put it into the um, to the Contour to show off 4K 120 hertz 20, 120 frames per second to show off the best uh, way to 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 set the television to show off the best content on the Microsoft the Xbox Series X. Uh, we have. Uh, Ford Motors coming with the Ford Mustang Mach E uh, to show off the Bang & Olsen system. And another one where people can do test drives. Lamborghini is coming with the Lamborghini Euros. We have, uh, with the Bang & Olsen system, of course. Uh, and Aston Martin, I can't remember the name of it. It's an SUV. It's big as a house. And it has a Bang & Olsen system in it as well, I think. 
Uh, it, well, it has. Um, then uh, Origin Acoustics, which does these outdoor speakers, is coming as well. They do the Celestial and the Palatial. They're going to show those off as well, inside and outside. And we're going to do like this small clubbing area. So you get lounge music to look at the the beach and, and the water and stuff. And then uh, the the wine you have production. have a DJ as well? Come again? You have a DJ as well? I was thinking about it, uh, and then I thought that that's gonna suck because we're gonna do. I mean, this is this is just nerdy people, like nerdy people get together. And I thought about getting a DJ, and then I was like, I don't want a DJ because I want to be able to shut everything off, and <laughs> let's do some testing. I mean, hook your phone up, do some testing, listen to your own music. Um, and then the wine guys that I do uh, the collaboration with the BOTF and podcast, uh, they are going to show off uh, their new rosés and white wine and stuff. So, and then we have uh, tap draft beer, and it's it's. I mean, it's gonna be freaking amazing. It's gonna be epic. So there's uh, gonna be a lot of females there to drive the men home. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, I, I was I was uh, quite quite uh, amazed by a lot of the guys asking if it was okay to take their wives or girlfriend <laughs> with them and i was just like yeah the more the merrier I don't mean, bring them both in the same time <laughs> i mean it's, it's 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 gonna be such a cool event and i really i i, I this has taken up a lot of my time um and and i mean my my merch web shop uh, with the t-shirts and the hoodies are gone because 99 of them are sold. But the new uh, T-shirts with this logo and uh, the Bio Lab 28 and the Bio Sound 9000 is gonna be there as well. And a lot of beautiful women is gonna stand by my fucking merch store to show them off. And <laughs> it's just it's it's just gonna be a feel feel good event where we as nerdy people can come together talk about. The goods and the bad about Bang & Olufsen. Bang & Olufsen is going to be there. Uh, we're going to talk with them about stuff. Uh, hopefully, the the guy behind the Bang & Olufsen app is going to be there as well. Mr. Anderson is going to show up. Uh, we have some marketing guys that's coming by. and I mean, it's, it's, it's a place where we can actually say what we want to say to everybody. And we can test all the speakers in our own environment. And it's, I mean, it's going to be epic. Epic. I'm, I'm really good. looking forward to it. I like that B&O is present. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean... Uh, it's very weird, almost. Yeah, like, why would you want feedback from actual customers? <laughs> <laughs> but we're glad that, that they are finally there. I mean, I, I, I think, it's, I think it's, it's so cool, and I'm really looking forward to it. Um... And it's it's just gonna be a. The plan was that I wanted just the guys and girls from the forum and from the YouTube channel to to have a good time together, and then I was just like, how can we make this the most epic day, where you can test drive the shit out of the, their new electric cars, you can do whatever, and uh, it's just gonna be a fun day, I think. So where do people get tickets? Are they still available, or is it sold out? Or no tickets. It's just show up between ten and fifteen, twenty and ten and three, and it's just we hope. I hope that we would be around fifty people, uh, which is not going to happen. It's going to. So be, I got six days to fly over. <laughs> it, 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 it's going to be. It's going to be a bit bigger than 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 what I expected, because I thought that. I mean, how many people, I mean, we're on holidays and how many people would actually show up to this? Well, but where can you go like, other than this? <laughs> people are like really keen about it. And I am as well, because I've put a lot of effort and money into it. So hopefully that hopefully people likes it. And uh, I mean, all the wine and beer is for free. So, I mean. Oh, nice. Yes. Uh, yeah. It's intriguing. The only the only thing that I couldn't hustle my way around was the coffee shop. So there is going to be a small coffee area where you can pay like, 
I think it's like three euros for a cup of coffee, but then you can just, I mean, it's 12 somewhere, so just skip the coffee and go to the beers. Mm -hmm. Works for me. But, so but can, I, I, can I get into Denmark at the moment or what? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> but I, I, I think it's, I mean, you're more than welcome. I think it's going to be very, very, very cool. And it's going to be a very, very badass day where we can be nerdy as we want to be and test things. I mean, pull, pull in the bang and and stuff. I mean, see what happens. Let's do some test setups. Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, it, 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 I think it's going to be a very, very cool event. So I take it they'll have 28s with them there as well and stuff like yes. that. Yes. Nice. Because and, and, and I have some video guys that is doing a video about it because I can't do a video while talking to people. So I need to be a bit flexible as well. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get a video guy to to do a video about the event, just a feel good video to mm -hmm. put on social media and stuff just to show it off. I mean, it's it. I hopefully it's people are going to like it. I think it'll be fun. Yeah, me too. Uh, I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, I, I think I you'll have, have a big turnout. That's I think I you'll have a hard time uh, making the end time. Honestly, <laughs> I think yeah. uh, people will be like, Three. Yeah, that's ah. not three o'clock yet. <laughs> yeah, and then 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 we have uh, a lot of uh, uh, give giveaways away from uh, from from uh, on the event as well. I mean, the explore here is going to be a giveaway. We have uh, some special uh, stands for uh, made out of oak and mm -hmm. walnut uh, for uh, uh, headphones that you put them on, which are crazy expensive but they're very cool and we're going to give them away too and uh, there's going to be giveaways on wine as well and giveaways and yeah whatever it's 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 going to be a pretty cool day yeah, yeah. Uh, oh yeah i i really wonder uh, so is 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 there like a park like uh, ha, ha, is this like literally a beach with a parking spot and you sort of arrive and no, if, if, if you take the, uh, you have 10 2021 then you have the address right beside it. And if you go to that address, you can see that it's a big silo. And the silo on the bottom of the silo is where the shop is on the total bottom of it. And on the front of it is there is like a big space where we're going to do the lounging area where Origin Acoustics is going to show off all their outdoor speakers. They have like four different systems with them so you can listen to the different systems outdoors no. bang and olsen is going to bring like the level the whatever every speakers that you could take outside so you can listen to it outside as well and turn off the other systems and then uh, the cars is going to be sit outside as well and there's like this big area and then there's plenty of room to go to the beach and uh, yeah hopefully it's just going to be a very very epic day Throw some explorers in the water, fucking. Yeah, yeah, we we <laughs> in in the forum we would be out there. I'm gonna test your claims, Captain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> Make sure you put her in a fishing line so you can reel it back in. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. So it's just it's just gonna be a man day with their wives. Honey, you're allowed to come. And <laughs> apparently, I, I know that people is coming from all over Denmark to to sh to show up to to the event, and that is, I mean, that is pretty cool. I mean, it's like le seventy euros to get over the bridge back and forth. So, I mean, that's that's pretty cool. I see. Yeah, I was shocked when I was in uh, going through from Vancouver to Victoria. Fucking seventy five bucks for a ferry. Mm. one way like it's expensive now to get around plus the gas was out of this world man i've never paid so much fucking money in my life for gas like i paid in bc yeah i, I know you guys still pay more and i mean but but, but <laughs> not people, a little either <laughs> no, you pretty, guys pay way more people are pretty cool about the event and um i think it's gonna be epic but i mean the worst thing is that this event has taken a lot of time away from the YouTube production. 
And then the Euro 2020, which is my job, mm. has taken the other time away. So I haven't had time to do any videos. But next week, to come back to your first question, Mikey, was the Build Lab 28. So next week, hopefully I'm going to do it. I have to say that Hamilton is sick. Every time he sneezes, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like nah, nah, nah. <laughs> so <laughs> um hopefully um i have to have time for do the two last videos of the 28th next week or the week after mm. and um yeah but i'm still very very happy with them uh, my wife is very very happy with them we just got this new like round thing with a lot of balls inside of it mm -hmm. where <laughs> the little one is throwing balls everywhere and when we first heard that we were going to get a kid the first thing Heidi and I was saying was that nothing is going to change the living room is going to stay the living room the dining room is going to stay the dining room mm -hmm. now I have mm -hmm. balls all over <laughs> my living room and I don't have a coffee table anymore because he hit his head is banging inside of the coffee table and it's just yeah so now I, I don't have oh, yeah. to put the fives anymore. That's the thing you'll find for the next nine months or so. They can work perfectly. As soon as something is like eye or head level, then they fall over. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully, I, I'm I'm actually, I'm, I'm also going to do an A-B test with the fives uh, and the 28. Um, and um, I'm thinking about... At the moment, I'm looking forward to get the fives back. Also, because I have some very, very cool news about the fives. That is, uh, hopefully, hopefully I can talk more about that within the next three weeks. Uh, my book is very filled up. So, but I out there, I just have a very, very big black box that I'm looking forward to open. And uh, that's <laughs> what well, cassettes are ceiling mounts. <laughs> It could for your be five? ceiling mounts for the fives. <laughs> oh Christ! <laughs> well, I honestly wonder how they would a sound. Bellucci edition. I, oh, I want God. wall mounts, but not where they stand upright, but where they come like sideways out of the wall. <laughs> Holy Christ! <laughs> Put them high up in the foyer so they fire downwards. Yeah, so have, so have them I'm, as bedroom I'm, speakers. I'm actually. I'm 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 really looking forward to get my fives back in the living room as well because I'm looking forward to do this video. So uh, hopefully within the next few weeks I will have some some news both on the on the Instagram channel on the Somi channel and then on YouTube out afterwards. Yeah, uh, I'm ready for that. Uh, fives are still bloody lovely. Yep. Maybe I mean, I've only seen nines there with the M ones. But... There's a five in there. Oh, there, yeah. <laughs> and a stage and a whole bunch. Yeah, stages yeah. are great too. Fives are great. This a bunch nines of... are great. No. <laughs> I, I I I really don't know if I'd rather have the emerge or be able to have nine. Uh you'd have the nines. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but if you, if, that if, you gave me, if you gave me the choice between the 9 and the level, I would take the level. Uh, any, day. any day. Well, I would too if I had 28 and 5s in my living room, yeah. The 5s are in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> so when are you going to hook those up to your uh, contour? You kind of can't. There's a way. Yes. Look up what? The fives to the contour in the bedroom. Fucker, there's no outs. Like what, line out or through line out? Yeah, there's line out. I mean, that's an LG TV on the inside. There's plenty of outs. It is possible, but I think it will suck. I mean, you even have the, the where is it? The Armando stereo uh, decoder thing. I hate the Almando. Why? I don't know. I hate the Almando more than I hate the Bill of Nines. <laughs> Why? Like because you worked with it and it left you uh, with a bad taste, or is it just it's, 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 the idea of the Almando is great, 
it's it's a very very cool thing i just think that the that is a product where you can talk about workarounds i think that it's it's not intuitive it's just i just don't like it okay i guess <laughs> i mean it works quite well actually i mean Especially the stereo one is basically plug and play. So yes, I I've I, I, I tried that too, but uh, this is the surround thing I'm talking about. Mm. This is Jazz Lakefield that's talking about his dead nineties. Just I'm gonna ask a dumb question: Have you power cycled the speakers for over ten minutes? Just turn them off, like from power, and uh, and turn them back on. <laughs> or did the latest upgrade do it? <laughs> I have updated my speakers. They work fine. Yeah, it took 45 minutes for them to fucking update. Yeah, we did that on live on Twitch. 45? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It took forever. 45 <laughs> I fucking thought they were poached. Like, you saw me fucking panicking back and forth. I'm like, son of a bitch. Because it took a long time to do that. So, my question is, uh, uh, does the top dome flash? Like, rapid flashing? Because that is an indicator of a dead amplifier or something like that. There's a, a, a real bad error, basically. But feels bad, man. Feels bad to have 90s fuck up on you. It's the first time I've, hear, I've heard of the set. Well, but my first set was also uh, had a faulty uh, lower bass amp. Uh, one thing you could maybe try and do is leave them unplugged overnight. So, okay, so you don't have anything flashing. What sources do you have plugged into it? If you have a power link plugged into them, just, uh, un yeah, I would just unplug fucking everything from them. Let them sit. Unplug everything from them. Let them sit. Uh, I would recommend also don't put the back cover back on because you're going to be in it more than in your pants and uh, just leave it off for a while. You've done that. Hmm. And you have no sound coming out of it. Are you sure that the uh, whatever source is that the power link feed is correct? Yeah, because if it does respond to narrow, wide, and omni and whatnot, there is the speakers on. Something's on, but something it maybe just not feed the line. Uh, the the power link input it's not coming in. Hmm. Well, if somebody's coming by, I hope they come by soon. It's still annoying. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I am very curious in what they will say, though, what supposedly did it. Yeah, that's very weird to me. I don't know if you even try to, like, update the software on it or not. See if that, I don't know if it cures it or not. But apparently there was some bug instability issue fixes, which... Uh, what I hate about this, like, uh, what the fuck was the description? It's just almost offensive. Like, it's just too dumb, too dumb long to describe. Or Dummy whatever. placeholder, like, I think it was the. <laughs> yeah, like that's a like. Are you serious? That's your fucking release notes, man. Like, that's embarrassing. Oh, you can Why? tell Anders that. <laughs> or Mr. Oh, Anderson. <laughs> I, I, are you talking about the dummy a lot? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Our release like... notes are dummy placeholder. <laughs> and and. And you did that on a speaker that cost how much? Yeah, let me. I'm gonna pull this up, man. It, like, I don't have ridiculous. one minute to like do uh, three lines even. It's uh, yeah, like they, I, uh, I, I actually board, I guess. wrote the guy who's um, who's responsible for this. He hasn't wrote the dummy amount of things, but he's responsible. I mean, he has the last word. And I cannot comment on what he said, but he wasn't happy about it. I, I can't, I don't know why for some reason I cannot pull it up right Nor now. Nor our customers it, that, like, this update contains dummy yeah. placeholder. Like, what the fuck? Why would yeah. I do this? <laughs> so who's the dummy and who's the placeholder then in this fucking scenario? Because this is ridiculous. I mean, fortunately, last time it was on the forum, and uh, I think it was John from Manchester that was kind enough to actually put it on the forum, what it actually did. 
You will have it in the chat now. There you go. But I cannot comment on what. Yeah, he dummy wrote. long description. That's what it is. Yeah, he. I. I cannot comment on what he wrote back to me because I mean, that is probably confidential. But I mean, he was happy about it. No. <laughs> Because it's only hundred and twenty thousand fucking dollar system, right? Just the speakers on their own, and I'm gonna get dummy long description for my software release, and I'm supposed to update the shit. Like that's 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 insulting, in my opinion. Well, especially with their track record of software updates that break stuff. <laughs> yeah, like you know, and the software updates on this on the Lab Nine is like I've had them since the, not day one, but let's say a week after day one, and I was on the first software version where that they didn't even do the, the self microphone calibration and every update was at least 45 minutes and yes my record's also not clean because i had to swap out mine because one of them came fucked out of the box so that to put on uh, as a software the the, the 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 release notes that's absolutely unacceptable do you want do you want the release notes or do you have I've no, we dug found them up them. on i've okay. we found them on on uh uh, sure. the beer world forum, which to me is also ridiculous. Like, really, I got to search for that on a forum that, you know, somebody, I guess, from the nerd side of the good people on the on in, in BNO's development of software posts this up, because how do you even get it? I, I have a question uh, about these dummy long description. Um, there is an improvement made to performing ARC more Easily robustness on 50 hertz noise. Yeah. So that is one of the release notes in this update. So would does you, that mean that you would, retune does, the speakers? You you came a bit early, uh, <laughs> Willie, as per usual. So uh, does that mean that you should do a new it's calibration common. of your speakers? Or is the computer wise enough to say that this is the old calibration. We know this is wrong, so we're gonna merge this together. But nobody, I mean, they should. I mean, does B and O know the dummy long? Come again? Does B and O know what this means for their speaker? Hopefully. Well, the thing was with the second to last update, they said we are also constantly learning when something went wrong. <laughs> Well, good for everybody. I'm glad we're in the same fucking classroom then. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, uh, I, that's why I'm asking. Like, Do the speaker people know what this means in terms of software? I don't I know. So. I'm going to retune mine. I'm going to try it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to calibrate them again. I mean, it, it would be nice to know that they, they instead of... I mean, you can... We can all agree on the Domi Long description is just plain stupid. They mm. should just put the release notes in. And I have a lot of talks with the guys that do the release notes. And that is actually something that they work upon to deliver to the customers. Because I said, it sucks that you don't put in what you have done to the speakers. But maybe there is something that they wouldn't want to get out if you, li if you read the description. So maybe there is a reason why it's not put in, put in, in there. But it would be nice to know that if you own a pair of speakers that... Uh, this is what we've done to them. Yeah, exactly. Know. Then it would be nice to know if you should recalibrate your speakers or if you should do something else. It, it would just be nice to know. I mean, you need to hold the customer's hands and help them through everything. That's your job. Now, I also think that if they were to put that fucking there, then they also kind of open the can of worms on themselves if they say you need to recalibrate the speakers because there's people like Mikey that doesn't have a microphone on hand. He's fucked, right? You have to call a dealer to, to come in and retune or recalibrate your speaker unless you can borrow them, right? The microphone. I don't actually know if my speaker's updated. I think I turned it off. <laughs> but in the same token, I guess... Uh, I don't know if the 90s still do, but my 90s came with the welcome package that had the microphones pulled up in it and a little booklet and a thank you note and and, and that's it. 
Oh, mine are updated. I I don't hear any difference. Well, that's the question. Like, do you need to retune them to hear anything different, right? Yeah. From what it is. Like, it's the same thing. Like, you know, your computer doesn't necessarily update all of it until you reboot the RAM, right? So, to me, I think, do you clear the old tuning and uh, start from fresh? Which is also a question because the tuning that... Uh, when I was when you factory reset the speakers, the tuning now does not reset. At least it didn't on the '90s that I installed at the Saskatchewan, and they had up to date, obviously the latest software on them. I think that's an extra tick, yeah. Like there's another bo box to tick for that now. What? Be because it used to be factory resets resets everything, but I think now you can reset to factory. But that's like uh, the distances, how the programming works, what sources, yada, yada, yada. But the tuning stays the same. Like that's an extra tick box. And I think that came when about that, from how people... How does that make sense though, Mikey? If, if, you dis if you delete all the distances, then what the fuck's the tuning relevant to then in the speaker? I think this came about from when they had issues and when they told people, could you factory reset uh, 50s or 90s or whatever and then people went I don't want to because then I have to remeasure everything <laughs> and I don't mm. have the, the the microphone here but I don't understand the point of resetting the fucking thing to factory other than like you're going after like factory default to me factory default this thing other than you know like the I dust know. on it should be like brand new out of the box as far as insides are concerned like completely no network recollection of any kind that it had before like zapped it completely out. Like I just, cause I don't understand the the measurements uh, then. What do you need those for? If you delete so, all the rest of it. I have a question. I've, I'm just gonna put something else in our chat here and you can show it if you want to. As a company of Bang & Olufsen, do you think that description is okay? Uh, put it up, fuck. I mean, this is a speaker upgrade, and it says a very large number of bug fixes. A very large number. Is this for the level or what? I think it was the level, yes. Uh, not really. Did, you, you don't you don't think that's stupid? It kind of is, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I would just say bug fixes and general improvement of the platform. Yeah, or but, number of bugs fixed. But very but large amount. Very so what were they like? large number of bugs. So what, what, like, were they like the size of the Beatles? Or... <laughs> <laughs> it's like a very... I mean, the, the product was useless, but now you can turn it on. It's That's crazy. right. We got rid of the locusts and shit and a very large number of them. I don't know, man. Like, there, the it's talking every about every other me... product has a little bit more. Like anything that I've read up, read notes from, there is description of some kind of any kind, right? Like they do the description release notes on the fucking gateway. Why don't you do it on your main products, for God's sakes? Is that a different nerd uh, part of the, you know, their their brainatorium wing or whatever? Well, it's only the five idea <laughs> Speaking of the gateway, did you did you see the release note on the Bill Living Intelligence? It uh, works on my uh, everything now. The... It works on my Android. Yeah, but did you get the release note for the version two point two point two? I think so. Okay. Speaking about misunderstandings, uh, Man Cave was apparently describing uh, wanting twenty eight to his wife. And uh, she thought he was talking about something totally different, and it led to <laughs> quite a funny <laughs> misunderstanding. <laughs> so he was not pleased. So he'll have to try again and show her in the in the shop. <laughs> I mean, I have to say that Man Cave did a good job while when he picked that woman up. I mean, <laughs> she seems like she have She's big intelligence. <laughs> In a so. soft personality. <laughs> <laughs> she seems like a good person. <laughs> oh, Speaking dear, of like... software also, I was very scared when the level updated. 
to pair my BO remote one into it because usually what happens like there's a, some sort of a new update right that the thing pushes into the remote control and then it squeegees my fucking remote clean again and I have to do it all over. Uh, it didn't do any updates whatsoever. It just it just uh, it just works. Everything works. But I would, if I could suggest in the next update, I would almost disable the entire operation of the buttons other than the volume control for the for the entirety of the the, the product being carried from one location to the other. Because I'm sure that the the sensors inside they can tell if it's being moved or not. Obviously. And uh, surely it can. Yeah, and that, that that's my only comment to it because I do move it quite a bit. And I, if you guys had designed it to be moved, because obviously the handle is is convenient enough for short carry, it's not something that I would like, you know. Maybe you're take. the only one like palming it like that, and most people like carry it like that. Well, no, not really. Uh, can this reach? Fuck, it can't. Uh, like when I pick it up and you're putting it on the table, because I usually sit and the table is over here, so you put it down and you inadvertently touch it because I don't want to put it down, like I, I try to put it down rubber feet first, right, not on the aluminum edge front. So you always end up touching the thing because you want to tilt it a little bit. And I don't want to grab it by the fabric because over time you'll have a fucking grease mark where the thumb is all the time, right, where you're picking it up from if you're moving it about too much. Mm -hmm. I, so, just, I, I just put my fingers in and uh, lift it up. I didn't have any issues. I, I, I didn't grab it like this. I grab it. No, I don't. Like I grab it. And I grab it here. And I, like, I just, I guess I have different trust issues with my hands since the accident, especially the left. I don't even carry it in my left hand. But uh, yeah, I just find that if, if that disabled the functionality of at least those two or the middle palm where the palm area is for the duration of it being moved, Mm. Uh, it would make a lot more sense. And I'm certain that I'm not the only one that has this issue when, uh, if it comes down to like moving this about a lot. If you just have it sitting on, like you had Mikey in the back on the table there and shit, and you like every once in a blue moon you walk by it and you touch the button, fuck, that, that's not an argument to be had with that because that's not where I'm at with it. My problem is that if it's moved about quite a bit. Because I do move it around now. I, just, I like listening to it. I like the sound of it. And then, you know, it to give you a good opinion of... Yeah, it does sound fucking... It sounds it excellent. Does. I mean, I mean that, that speaker is epic. Yeah. It's obviously not meant for like 100% volume levels and nope. shit. Even Six, though if, on, the, on, on the Canada Day, I played the fucking anthem on the balcony. Had a cigar right when the fireworks were going. And I put oh, it on the Oh, yeah, buddy. She was... <laughs> screaming out of this fucking thing it was great so yeah it i that was the only time that it went on 100 it never distorted and but it's only just voice right but it was uh it was great mm. i i i i i i have to agree i like so product. were you the only one in your in your country or in your area singing the national anthem more or less because i take it that's somewhat rare now in canada <laughs> It is. Oh yeah. Well, I didn't sing it. I just fucking threw the speaker out there, <laughs> closed the door, and went back in. <laughs> no, no, no. I sat out there, smoked the stogie, and just watched this thing fucking howl as all the people out uh, were watching the fireworks. Some saluted. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the American way or the British way? The Ameri uh, I know. I guess the American way is you touch your heart, right? No, saluting in America is that way. The British oh, yeah. do that. The Canadians did this like as well in the Second World War. They still saluted everybody like that. Do it in a forty-five degree angle, so we're neutral. <laughs> <laughs> Over neither or. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, or the German way, John. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I still get that, a laugh. That, on that, that 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 would change some stuff. I mean, yeah. you could put like a German march song on and put it on the balcony, and you can do the German. Saluting if you want to. You'd probably get fucking arrested for this here now. <laughs> well, they uh, seem like... to have an affinity for the old thoughts of the Germans in Canada at the right. moment. <laughs> right now we're busy with uh, residential school. Uh, oh, yeah, I saw that. All that nonsense now. They wanted to cancel Canada Day and all this soft shit. Whatever. Like, you know what? History. Let the history be history. Let it 
it's past already. Like, you know, why the fuck are you going around renaming all these high schools and all the bridges and shit now? Because, like, you know, these people... Yeah, but these people funded and started this country, man. Like, this is how... This is the history of here. Fuck. Like, you can't undo or change it just by you just, you know, what, you're gonna rewrite the books and we're never gonna teach this to the kids now and shit? Yeah, it's not Orwellian at all. It's fucking stupid, you know <laughs> what I mean? Like, it's like, it's like, it's like you know, let's... Let's now start deleting all the books and facts and shit in the World War Two because it's a lot of this shit is offensive, right? Like, you know, and atrocities they have made. Like, dude, fucking own up to it, bitch. This, this happened. Like, you, you can't fucking change that. You can't change shit. You can't change shit about what you've done as far as your actions are anyways. Because they're done. It's over. It's so how history just... kind of works. It's, yeah, like if you forgot to take nonsense. the garbage out yesterday, it's not like you can fix that <laughs> today. <laughs> oh man, now you got food flies and shit to deal with, and that's just what it is. So, yeah. Anyways, I mean, I must are... say, if you, I, I I Google Canada Day, and it it looks kind of lame. <laughs> so I don't blame a lot of people. Is that what you guys do? <laughs> Holy fuck, that's crazy. I wonder what I see when I see Canada when I see Canada Day, because I'm sure that. Uh, yeah, I'm sure that you guys get catered by Google. <laughs> uh, are you on news or images? Images. Oh, no shit. They're most of the same. Yeah. Well, that's... well there you have it, Canada. <laughs> uh, awesome I don't know why you chose to live there, but you did. Because <laughs> at the time when we were moving, it was way better to live here than in Slovakia. Oh, I get and that, but just about everywhere was better. <laughs> at this point of time... You could have literally but... gone like a dartboard, like... Okay. <laughs> Uganda, oh no! <laughs> Too oh, long. Would have been better. <laughs> oh, fuck no. <laughs> Anyways, we blew over 50, 25 minutes because we were going to do the draw, so do we want to do the draw? Yes. Uh, let me get this set up. Or do you more or less want to announce the winner? Yes, I want to announce uh, the winner. I also want to tell people, next week is the last week of uh, Massive Santa, a.k.a. Prestige Creators. So uh, go give them a, a follow. Also, I had not expected that it was this hard for per people to participate. <laughs> uh, the people that participated properly... Good. The amount of people that uh, either don't put a picture of their product in it or don't address it, dear Santa. <laughs> I mean, I, I can. If you if you didn't want to write a few lines, fine. I can live with that. But just we didn't even have a skill testing questions like math and shit. You know yeah. what I mean? You just need to fill a subject in correctly and take so, a picture. Are we going to see some some of the participants? Uh, yes, I'll, I will show you a participant in a moment. I'll show you the the the, the, the winner. Uh... I would just like to see some of them if it's possible. Uh, Do it. Well, there's quite a few where it's literally I I I'm uh, writing myself in and there's nothing. Like yeah, that, th that's literally it. <laughs> yeah, that's automatic disqualification. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that, that that don't count. That's that's a waste of time. So, uh, uh, let me get. I'm not. Uh, nothing doxing. I don't want to put people's address. Just sorry. Just checking to see if there's no uh, addresses and stuff popping up if I show this. So, uh, Mr. Patrick uh, <laughs> is our winner. This looks. To me, fucking amazing. Just a dark photo, though, but still. Well, that's kind of what the setup is. It's uh, it's it's sort of like his Dark Knight slash Batman corner a little it's bit. It's like a man cave. Yes. So it's proper. It, uh, it just uh, lacks some wood to uh, tie the desk in, really. What's going nice. on with all the Christmas cards on the right? They're Santa. Oh, I got it. I love it. <laughs> Sorry, cats are going insane. Okay. It's so, about uh, the time, hour and a half into the podcast, is when they start getting braver earlier now, because it used to be like the last 10 minutes, now it's a half hour. <laughs> so what kind of TV is this? This is uh, an LG... I forget. I think it's a CX. So did, did he write a note? 
yeah, it wasn't a, a long one, but it was a very nice picture. Uh, it's it, his desk setup, the 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 Batman black, and he, uh, the desk is walnut. So desk setup is 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 it? I see a computer on the left. Is it like a working area? Working and entertainment, yeah. Ah, okay. But but mostly working, so it is. Well, when it's entertainment, it's like literally one of these chairs. Okay, because like, I mean that's a pretty cool working area. Yeah, I know. So uh, congratulations, Patrick. I'll put you in touch with Prestige Creators. Well done, Patrick. And then uh, I felt very very bad uh, for Bio John. <laughs> because uh, he is having your troubles, Henrik. <laughs> Where oh, my kids, kids and yogurt, <laughs> kids and yogurt, and and sneezing, so you get a snowgurt sort of thing. And uh... that looks like dried semen, sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a it, yogurt. I'm just saying that the the man cave, fat cave, whatever, <laughs> dark night. <laughs> I mean, if if that was his night setup, that could be his cover. <laughs> if it was on his desk, I'm just saying. That's right. <laughs> well, it's it's impressive. It took some low. <laughs> so uh, uh, I like the macro shots. <laughs> you can yeah, see the entire yeah, generations yeah. on he, that grill. He really, he really <laughs> took his phone out. Now you guys really gonna see this. <laughs> Look at my macro lens, y'all. <laughs> I got so a new what phone. can you show us? So this is Bio John. <laughs> this is Bio John. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back to feeling bad about him. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, I, I am so in love with my, uh, uh, <laughs> with my uh, Prestige Creators covers that I have a spare black cover that I don't think I'll ever use again. So, John, uh, if you want it, if you want to fix this, <laughs> you can have mine because... This is unsightly. <laughs> like this you is... can ma maybe when you get them replacement, then you can try cleaning the semen or yogurt, as you call it, off of the uh, the old one. Yeah. Uh, uh, so he says, uh, uh, "Dear Santa, I know you here are here mostly for the kids, but sometimes, just sometimes, I guess you are there for the adults as well. Just making up <laughs> for what the kids are doing." You know, like when they get a yogurt and somehow m make it explode in front of the stage in the living room. Of course, these things are impossible to get rid of. Uh, uh, and then the, this, sorry, it's a very weird uh, Norwegian translation to, <laughs> to English. <I'm, laughs> like, how am I reading this? Then it would be great. Let's just say bloody excellent if Santa could uh come with some wood lamellas uh so next time the yogurt explodes uh, the kid sneezes with a mouthful of yogurt he could just wipe it off so he's basically pleading dear santa dear santa please <laughs> so could 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 we do another competition with the greatest shot of some man glue man glue <laughs> shiny see, knuckles see see who gets the knuckles? furthest what <laughs> See who gets the the best shot. Yeah, but what is best? Is it volume? Is it distance? Right into the acoustic that is lens totally of the BLM. Up to you, Mikey. You got to shoot right into say, the acoustic lens of the Lab 18. Main glue. Uh, I agree with Wood Cassette on uh, on Twitch. He should frame his old one and call it the Monica Lewinsky stage. <laughs> <laughs> the Lewinsky edition. <laughs> That oh, is that funny. Cool. Send, send it out to uh, <laughs> to to Skinny Play. Call it the the Winsky, the Monica Lewinsky edition. <laughs> they can make it. Oh God! I mean, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So he, he, he's getting my cover if you want it. But if you want to live with the Lewinsky, that, that's totally up to you. I kind of want the Lewinsky now. <laughs> I mean, oh, I, 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 I would do whatever I have to do with marketing material and skills to make a hashtag the Beosound Lewinsky edition. 
<laughs> oh, that's funny stuff. Surely the Lewinsky collaboration. No, because that would be the Bill collaboration. <laughs> she didn't make the stain, he did. That's great. Bill was here. <laughs> yeah, the beer sound Clint. Oh, dear Lord. I did not have a sexual relation with that stage. <laughs> That's right, on that stage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we uh, uh, started out with one winner, but I, I I, can't live with John living like that. It's No, I agree. It's disgusting. Good point. And, uh, if you don't have a use for it, might as well have somebody else have a use for yeah, it. Yeah, and uh, we can all agree it was yogurt. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yogurt, because yo yeah. we all know yogurt stains like that. Yeah, it just sucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, though. <laughs> the so, shit that happens to people. Uh, yeah, it maybe, maybe, maybe you should do some merch stuff and do the Mikey edition socks that you can send to him. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll put some Mikey yogurt socks. on the socks, <laughs> like like what you see in American movies with the the, the, the the sort of what you call it the socks that are hard and don't move. <laughs> But uh, thank you very much, Prestige Creators, for sponsoring uh, yeah, giveaways man. like this, making people set up uh, prettier. It's uh, it's very well uh, needed by the looks of things, and especially when we have Lewinsky stains. So do we know if uh, it was Patrick, right? Yeah. So do we know if his stage is... Uh, is it uh, bronze or al aluminium, or what is it? I, th I think it's the aluminium. Yeah, I'm pretty dark, sure it's the, the aluminium. Default. Okay. I would almost advise people buy the aluminium and look at a cover from Prestige Creators if you want to spruce it up. Yep. Because the yeah. B&O wood one is silly expensive. And it doesn't look nowhere near as good in my opinion. I, I, I have to agree. Um, yeah, as you guys know, I do have a love and hate relationship with these kind of things. The Bang & Olufsen's wood cover it's, it's it's the same on the contour that I have. The contour is, is, is it doesn't look that nice. I mean, yes, from a distance it looks nice. But yeah, when but when you, you come closer close, to it, it's I I've seen them and I just I'm not too impressed. <clears throat> I'm 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 very glad that my uh, bedroom is dark, so I don't see it as much, but. In the daytime, I mean, I, I do see it. I do see the lamellas, um, and it, it doesn't look that nice. Mm -mm. It And it also looks like it's done by some cheap wood. Yeah, I had the same impression when I saw the Eclipse comparatively, where they set the standard with the BioVision 14 grills, like those were fucking yes. amazing, right? Yes. And then you come out with this Eclipse, I'm like, that looks like a fucking laminate and from Ikea. The same with the shape covers. I mean... I, You know what? I've seen the shape covers that the guys had in Vancouver store. Those were a far better quality than the last time I've seen them. So there has been a little bit of improvement, or at least okay. the batch that they got. But the, looks, It's still a little bit shiny to my liking. If I'm not mistaken, the Eclipse Oak or wood cover is laminated MDF. Yes. But the BioVision 14 was... Real deal, man. Yeah. Mm. It was like you split a piece of oak and you pull it out and you... It it was like the 50s behind you, man. The real deal. That's why it was so weird to see the Eclipse. Uh, next up, for anybody in, uh, interested, uh, covers for the BLAB 8000s uh, next week. Uh, you have until next week to, to uh, enter. And like I said, it's not hard. You address me uh, via email. Take a picture of it. Not, well, the speakers. Take the picture of the speakers, not yourself. You can or, if or you the, want to. Or the <laughs> naked reflection in the back of the 8000. But then in I can't the show it on YouTube, so you can't win. <laughs> in the subject, right? Main glue? On the... <laughs> no, dear Santa, you can mention man glue in the email if you want to. <laughs> 
But next up, uh, next for next Sunday, we have uh, we're gonna have a winner for uh, the the Beer Lab eight thousands, and uh, it looks fucking epic like this. So uh, since uh, 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 last week was Anders won the nine thousand, you may have to buy your own cover for your nine thousand. Because yeah, uh, that's a sick deal, man. They look sweet. Mm. Some Wait. people say that it makes them look too wide or whatever, but I just I like the look of them from the front. They look sweet. I'm 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 one of those guys that thinks that they are a bit too wide. But that's my personal opinion. I mean, this looks stellar to me. I, I think it's more also a force of habit. I like the 9000 though. Mhm. Mm uh, totally yeah, and the one that we had uh, Anders when didn't have the the split in it, so it's just one solid, solid nice. line down. Yeah, nice. I think it's much nicer. Because quite honestly, other than you have a need to pull up your serial number for service, not many people go inside that control panel. Like some clients of mine that I've had, they didn't even fucking know. Like when I come in there to service their shit, wow. I open the things like, oh my god, that opens. I'm like, yeah, that looks sweet though. Hey. Wow. Okay. Where, is, 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 is that the winner? That, that was Anders uh, last week. He won this cover for the 9000. Jesus Christ, man. This is prestige creators. You should use this on your web page. Well, this is a picture of theirs. Anders will take some nice pictures. Uh, oh, okay. Because, I mean, this is amazing. Yeah, dude. Wow. Anders will get his in about seven days, they say. So, uh, okay. Yes. I mean, this this looks. Epic. It looks current. Yes. It looks current, even though that oh. CD player is older than some people watching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, because uh, let me see, is it still here? Uh, so. Obviously, uh, Anders was annoying Willy with uh, Berluti. <laughs> but. Uh, Can't believe he fucking he, bought those, man. He kind of had to win. Uh, where do we. Because uh, I have pictures. For him. He has pictures, I should say. He has an automotive, uh, you know, the plastic wrap for the cars. That's what he had wood imitation done with. Mm. But and the closer you get, the worse it gets, quite oh, honestly. Oh, fuck, yeah. Like, it's good from far. Like, real far. Yeah, but far from good. <laughs> but so far from good when you get too close to it. And then... Uh, so this would look stellar like this at night with the with the. Oh, oak. fuck, yeah. Mm. And it says Biotalk? No, what does it say in there? It said something on there. Sorry, I'll get the what he. Uh... Then he sent the picture. I, 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 I really don't like the LED lights behind the Biosound 9000. Oh, well, they can change the color. Yeah, to 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 off. That would be great. <laughs> I mean, he <laughs> he went the extra mile with Dear oh, Santa. Dear Santa. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That is that, definitely a winner. That's earning it, man. That's earning it. <clears throat> yep, definitely. And Good then, uh, do you have the do you have the the, the great peel? <laughs> yeah, he, he was so happy uh, when he won. Uh, uh, where are you again? Uh, that uh, obviously he had to. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so we're gonna Coming see some off. real oak. Yes. <laughs> Right, it's coming off, baby. No, that's awesome. Good job. I'm happy for him because yeah, he he really likes his uh, not just likes his wood, but it just looks fucking awesome. And especially with the 28, it's gonna look fucking killer. Yep. He has a harmony as well, right? Uh, no, or, he has an eclipse. no eclipse. Eclipse, but the eclipse has wood covers on it, doesn't it? I think so. Or the, the I don't know this. We're at the point where I can't keep all setups separated in my head anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like I, with Anders, it's quite easy to remember in the sense of the, the photography is amazing. Yes. Yeah, the, I have a lot of setups in my head, my friend. 
a lot of setup. A lot of people set up. I mean, to me, weird... quite honestly, I, I don't say this often, but this look. I think I said it last week, but this looks better than the sort of purple side. The default metal. Yeah. yeah. I like this look better, uh, like this, or even with any of the other uh, colors. I mean, in 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 this setup. It takes the 9000 to a brand new era. Mm -hmm. This is the, the old, so this one still has the... Uh, the split. Yeah, but he can make, obviously, the same one piece. But in terms yeah, of color cool, matching, that, that's quite good. Love that. It is, and it, it, it does look good. I do like the light oak better uh, than we saw before. Than the black, yeah, the yep. black is kind of subdued. Yep. But then again, it looks good with the 18s, and it definitely would look good with the lap fives if you had the nine nine thousand with uh, with the black from uh, lamellas on it. Agreed, agreed. But this just looks killer. I think the harmony makes it look fucking outstanding. Yes, By the way, with I... this new design, you can still open it, the door. Of course. But I mean. Th not to say anything bad about prestige creators because this does look amazing, but I mean, this setup that we see we see on YouTube right now, the harmony is really pulling everything together, mm -hmm. and it does look very very good, and it's very well seen by prestige creators to do this. I like. It. I like it, man. I just it, it makes yeah. something that you've had on your wall for uh, over twenty four years. It's crazy, yes. Uh, that you can update it to make it look like uh, it fits your new brand new Tay TV that you got. So, kudos to that. That's fucking awesome. Mikey, do you remember we talked about putting your nine thousand like this behind yeah. the, the the harmony? Yes. Yeah. If you had like the wooden lamellars and then the wooden lamellars on the harmony goes up like this, it would just be in harmony of two pieces getting together. Mm -hmm. harmony. Yeah, I like it a lot. I don't, I, I, John, I don't disagree. It? Yeah, that's John's, but Prestige Creator. <laughs> so does he have, does John have two different covers or did he just Photoshop this to be fucking white? No, I think they ordered a bunch for the shop and, uh, he bought some home to take some uh, shot, uh, some photos for the shop. Uh, that website. looks outstanding, because of the, the background, of course. Because to me, that's a little off between. Like, yes, it's an accent of wood, but you got to have a little bit more other uh, elements in the room in order for this to be tied in. Yeah, but it's a close-up, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I'm saying like this. You know what I mean? There's really not much that that wood ties into. Like the white griddles would look fantastic that, that looks much better i love i love this color combo it it, mm -hmm. it ties his wall into uh it ties it well exactly it ties the wall into the shape but also the, the those lamellas almost make it look like they're also aluminium kind of yes from here right like from the further or from afar well even I, with I think a... that he had to match it to the lantern on the right which his wife <laughs> probably put up <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't have the wood grills, John. You need to <coughs> the gray ones as well. And he, he responded with yes, honey, which was correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> and then John was like, okay, honey, but can I put my picture of my two drawing cats on the wall? And then she was like, okay, yes, you can. So they they did it. They did it. They worked together and they, they figured it out. They worked together nicely. So yeah, I like it. I yeah, do like I, that. I like it too. I like this setup better than what he had before with the 6000 and the lap 2. And the curved screen. Oh, yeah, the boomerang. <laughs> John, if you're listening, I'm so happy you got rid of the boomerang. <laughs> I would have shot that thing with a BB gun if I came over. <laughs> <laughs> In the top right-hand corner. <laughs> Boom, that's it. Sorry Hi, about John, it. how are you? <laughs> Let's go shopping. <laughs> oh God! But yeah, I do That's like uh, I do like the stage with uh, with the wood more than I like the grills. But then again, like the grills are crazy. Also, if you if you talk skinny play, right? Because you can do a whole bunch of fun with skinny plays uh, grills on it too. I still love but that. Like this wood just the wood isn't is awesome. cut off. It's actually formed along the curve. Mm-hmm. 
like it's not just cut at an angle it's actually uh hand it's beveled, uh, yeah it's, i yeah. like it a lot and there's a lot of good detail in it a lot of good but detail in it skinny plate that is only fabric right yes yes yeah, yeah. i've seen those I'd get a stage if I had the garage. I would get a stage and put those like yellow and black stripes on the stage, like on the back of a crane counterweight, <laughs> huh. just for the shits and giggles. I mean, one thing I still fucking love is this, but we all do. <laughs> yeah, I think that that just makes the fives. So uh, that just makes the fives. Peoples uh, of YouTube's uh, go give them a follow. They do good stuff, uh, and this would be a nightmare to ship here. But I'm considering uh, talking to a buddy of mine that wants to buy the fives and see if he wants this. Because that would look it sick. It does. It. I mean, the fives is just like a piece of design that hasn't gone out of design, right? No. No. But this with the with the black lamellas or the the oak lamellas. Are really trying to get the fives into the new century, right? Mm -hmm. And it does look amazing, I have to say. I love it. Yeah, it I absolutely love it. So, uh, yeah, this is killer. Uh, good people of YouTube, you have until next week, Sunday, 9 ish p.m., to compete for your uh, covers for the 8000, uh, Biolab 8000. Covers, not the speaker. <laughs> Uh, so uh, go do that. Also give the uh, Prestige Creators a, a massive thank you and a follow on Instagram. They have a YouTube channel that uh, has too few subscribers. Then again, you guys only have one video up, so please put another thing up there. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, craftsmanship is excellent. Uh, I can't yes. wait until uh, Anders gets his cover and we can see some more pictures uh, the way he does. I like it. And, uh, yeah, uh, we'll have another draw uh, next week. Massive thank you to our Santa uh, Prestige Creators. Like, holy fuck. It's a good giveaway, man. Shit. Yeah. So uh, thank them uh, uh, for that appropriately. And uh, also uh, uh, get this bloody cover because it's great. <laughs> I, s I love that look so much better. Than, like, I, ha I have a BSN 9000 there, and I love the look of it, but this makes it so much better. Yeah. Just like with Fives, consider buying those covers, because I think Fives were ahead of their time, but they're not behind the time, but they sort of go ahead of the time again with those black covers. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, the black covers look sweet. I wouldn't go any other wood color on them. I think it just it gives them the texture. I wouldn't offset the color of the speaker. Well, Willie, if you look at the picture right now and you look at the the floor, then the oak would look amazing. Yeah, I just and when, when, like and the you have the of harmony. It. Besides, it it would look amazing. Yes, no, I agree. The harmony definitely ties in a lot of this new product together. Yeah. But I, I, I agree with you. The the black ones does. They're the, they're the shit, man. Yeah. They're the best. Yeah. That's the way to do it. I agree. And yeah, like it just gives that 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 nice texture to the to the whole base of it. Like it makes it more stoutier than it is already. Yeah. Probably gets you like hundred more <laughs> watts and power too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we just need Eric to get some uh, white oak. Uh... Covers for his white fives. Those would be interesting looking. I don't think that white oak or white spray painted lamellas would look good on the white lap ones, uh, lap, fi lap fives. I think it would look a bit crazy. I think personally it would look like it's dusty all the time because of the color offset where the shadow play would be. I, I, I don't think it would look good. So maybe you should get some red covers then. <laughs> oh god. It would look like the Danish flag. That would be very killer. That would do great in Sweden, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> No, I would uh 
Yeah, I would pass on the white ones. Yeah, me too. I wanted something... Uh, what the heck was I going to talk about? I don't know, I forget. Just once we go off air, I'm going to remember. That's what usually That's, happens. Yeah, I was just going to say, isn't that always the case? Ah, yeah. oh, shit. I found, yeah. I found us. Well, where are we at? <laughs> Prestige Creators. <laughs> All right, on. Oh. <laughs> uh, I I can't enhance much more. That was the episode with the with the wild joke. I remember. Yes, the one joke that shall never be repeated because it offends so many people. So go and watch that episode if you can find it and like it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we actually we really need just a like on that video. Don't even watch it. Just give it a thumbs up. Yeah, <laughs> whatever episode that was. Like, yeah, I can't remember. So many of them. Leo, I still love you. <laughs> yeah, I do too. Fun. But but man, that came That's out fun. of the blue. <laughs> that was crazy. It, yeah, I, we we have. I, I've been. i You guys have been here for a long time, and I've I've joined in. But that that episode was epic. I mean, it was just <laughs> like when when that joke came out, I was just like. What happened? <laughs> yeah, that so was fun times. Give it a like. <laughs> Go and watch it. Just give it a like. <laughs> that was just very offensive. Offensively this? funny. That's the. Is there a line on the two lines and the through the middle of it? I'm seeing. Well, it's just the support structure, I guess. I think so. I, I don't see that on my own. I think it's just a camera angle, really. Mm. Because What's when I look edition? at my stage, I don't see any of that. Mm. Maybe it's the first edition. Or maybe yeah. it's also the color, maybe. And it shows some stuff. Or maybe that's just how they wanted it. Weird. Because mine is much more uh, like that. Yeah. Well, I don't know. <clears throat> I wonder, speaking of like just change the topic for a bit, if BNO will introduce uh, BioLab 28 um, uh, sound presets in the older systems like Avant. Yeah. 50s was that, uh, is that something uh, possibly next week you could ask Mr. Anderson why that hasn't happened? Or any of, uh, of you going to the event? Yes, uh, I will not uh, participate next week because of the BOTF VIP summit and stuff. But uh, I will definitely look into it and uh, get back to you guys. Yeah, because I'm quite interested about it to see what, uh, what and how and when. Yeah, because otherwise Willie cannot buy 28. Willie yes, must. Can. You can if if you get. I'm not buying 28. If you get 28 and you don't have the option, you'll put it as 50s, and then you have the presets for them. Figured it would be that. Yeah. The workaround. <laughs> Again, yes. But you have to do them through Powerlink, because the Wysa wouldn't recognize them as 50s. Uh, no, they will be recognized as other. Yeah. And then you're fucked, because you won't have presets. I will dig into it, and uh, I'll get back to you. Because yeah. you would think an Avant is not that old, not so old well, that it. Ten years now, shit. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, but the, that I, was the if, USB if, of BNO, wasn't it? Like long-lasting everything. If I have the time, I will uh, ask live on camera, and then I'll just send the video file to you, so you can air it on Sunday. <laughs> sure. There we go. And then they'll be like, "What?" <laughs> but yeah, I would be. I would be interested in that. And also, I would be interested in uh, knowing if that software they're always promising is going to come out so you can control, you can tie this into the BioLink infrastructure like it's been promised. Yep, that's that's this year. The wasn't Oh, we there... got five, four months. Wasn't... Sorry, wait, that update I sent you earlier from the Chemo guys, that was only for BioLiving Intelligence. Yes. So not for the BioLink gateway. Nope. That's the 2.2.2. 2. 
Why the fuck are they not like what's so different when it's the same program in both? I do not understand why they cannot disseminate that into the gateway, uh, the BioLink gateway. It's probably <clears throat> because of processing power. I hate the new look of the gateway though. Like it's yeah, yeah, yeah. it's cheap as shit. Stupid. Got it and like, put it in an old chassis. <laughs> I guess I could, but then fucking, what am I gonna just uh, uh, glue gun it into the fucking. Uh, Why not? Gateway? Work around. <laughs> Fuck. The Make nice sure you can get you can the, to PLE. the reset button. <laughs> the nice thing is it does PoE, so you don't have to have power cords and crap. Like, that's a good benefit of it, but I just don't like the fact that uh, generationally they're so much different, but there's really no difference. I'm actually thinking about skipping my building gateway and get a building intelligence, both because of the PoE and because mm -hmm. of heat. What do you mean? The building gateway gets warm. Mine doesn't. It's just yeah, normal no, operating temperature. Yeah, but you have yeah, air conditioned you, you room. Live in like minus thirty thousand degrees. <laughs> Not really. I got fucking air conditioning, dude. Like, it's not changed much, like, 23 to 24 degrees in here. Mine is, well, mine is hot. Really? Yep. And I'm sure that I do way more through my gateway than you do. Yes. How hot is hot? Is it like you pick it up and you go, hmm? Or is it like... No, ah, ah, ah. No, 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 no. You pick it up and it's just like, oh, that's warm. Like, warm apple pie. <laughs> Yeah, no, mine isn't warm like that. Like, it, it's definitely, you can tell it's turned on and it's working, but it's not fucking getting hot in any way, no, shape, no, no. or form. My, mine isn't getting hot, but it's just like warm apple pie. But the mm. problem is that my warm apple pie is in my rack with my Synology with eight spinning drives, two oh, SDs, so then you have different two heat NVMEs, issues. with my, my Dream Machine Pro with two... 10 gigs of uh, switches so it's just i would like to get some heat out of the rack yeah plus you don't have anything master link until we get you to get by a vsr 9000 yeah i know <laughs> prestige creators is trying me to get me to buy a vsr 9000 I'm, I'm not gonna do it and i'm not gonna we're not gonna do some kind of uh, betting thing on that either. <laughs> <laughs> What if we do a charity run? <laughs> then or we'll pull our money together to buy you one. Then, well, no, no, no. If I, I would With still some buy, but if we give the money to charity, then I would think about it. Mm. Okay. People, write me, email me. You have my email. It's also down in the description. Uh, also for how to win nine, uh, eight thousand uh, covers. Uh, Hmm. Well, I have to figure something out. <laughs> That's for the I'm, next. I'm, I'm in. I'm. I'm. I'm on board. I have one course that I'm doing myself. Um, I do a lot of uh, uh, <laughs> self control for buying B and O course. <laughs> and, uh, I drive uh, uh, <laughs> wedding wedding people and stuff, and I give all the money to uh, the. The Children Cancer Foundation in Copenhagen, and we've done this for eight years now, my dad and I. Uh, so if if the money goes to this, then I would uh, think about it. So what if we get a two for one, like Henrik shaves his beard and he gets a nine thousandth, and money yeah, goes I'll, to charity? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I would take the head too. Holy fuck, I would love to see the reaction of video from Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, Antichrist, oh, Antichrist. Oh, he'd be scared the shit out of you, man. Oh, God. I remember when my dad shaved his fucking beard and my sister, like, she wouldn't go near him. It yeah, was, we, it was we, funny. We can start with the beard. That's fine. Holy shit, both. Yeah, the, the kids would but, be fine. But I mean, we have to, it, it has to be some money. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Well, fortunately, Danish money is sort of monopoly money. So. Yeah, just still. buy a hotel and a few houses and then you're into it. It's still and then you roll the dice and you see what you get for it. 
That's funny. <laughs> anyway, uh, people, I'm going to call it a show. Uh, well, what the fuck happened? Uh, uh, go and uh, uh, like the good people at Prestige Creators. Links are down below. So is how to uh, uh, get into the competition for some good old 8,000s. Uh, th that'll be next week. Thank you, Henrik. Uh, we must all go to the event if you're available. Uh, go be with your fellow Danes. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I, I, I will be back after Euro 2020. So that is... Not next week, but next week, and I'll be back, I think. Is that Euro 2020 when it's done for Denmark, or when it's done in total? <laughs> it's done in total on the 11th. Okay, any predictions? And, and this is on the 10th, so the week after I will be there. And the prediction is that it's not going to say semi-finals here. It's just going to say... <laughs> yeah, you almost won, like, fucking 2016. I don't know. Because <laughs> I was in Denmark at that time, and you guys were playing, I think, Finland again. And uh, the fucking atmosphere in the bar was killer, dude. And then it all died. <laughs> <laughs> it just <laughs> fucking... It went right, from a wedding right, to a right funeral in, comments, in a heartbeat. <laughs> right, right in the chat, what do you think the, the end result will be? Mike Hunt is saying England 2, Denmark 0... Mike Hunt, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Chad, what do you think it's going to be? We'll see. I don't know. But I think that one thing that you all should remember for the Prestige Creators competition, don't put entering in the subject. Dear uh, Santa, dear... they're fucking That's kind. Right. They are Santas. Yeah, so dear Santa and a picture of the product that's going to. Yeah, it can't be that hard. Uh, that's right. People no have done picks. it. <laughs> if you put down Dear Santa and then a dash, I hate Mike Hunt, that's okay too. <laughs> you committed that, to the okay first to <laughs> bit of it, yes. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see you all next week for the draw. Yeah, I'm going to uh, run the outro. Thank you everybody for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't yet already. Uh, enjoy the football. Enjoy 4th of July. And uh, see you in the next one. And love to Mike. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.